it's done. I finally completed my battery for my electric bicycle. Each one of these packs is made of 18650 cells. They are 4 volts from end to end with 6 cells running in parallel. Except for some of these ones I had to do like this one's 9 cells running in parallel because these are uh, these are from a different battery and they weren't as much capacity as I needed. And these ones are uh, 7, which is the same story. But here's how I charge them. I pop them apart and now I have two different battery packs and I charge them each to 24 volts or actually closer to 24.3 volts and then whenever I, I need to use them I plug them all together and currently they are at 48.6 volts I could get them up to 50 volts but that would but that would be straining the batteries quite a bit <clears throat> I'm even thinking about not even going all the way to 48 volts but uh, and prolong battery life even, even more because as it is right now I am charging each one of these packs to, I believe, 4.05 volts. Now, they are uh, usually it's a standard where you can go up to about 4.2 volts, but at that range you get 300 to 500 cycles, charge and discharge cycles. Now, if you were to, uh, every tenth of a volt that you go down in charge is less stress on the batteries, and thus you get twice as much more cycles. So if you went down to 4.1 volts, you would get 600 to 1,000 cycles, of battery. If you went down to 4 volts, you would get 1,200 to 2,000 cycles for battery, and that would be awesome. So here is the incredibly complicated process of putting the battery inside of my electric bicycle. Take this. Oops. That's it. Now we just got to hook up the power connectors. And so all I had to do was uh, uh, I hook up the, these two quick connectors, and then you have this, and you plug this into, oh, <laughs> got to make sure the motor's off. That's usually a good idea. It sparks a little bit, and uh, there you go. You're off. You just tuck this in there. Actually, more like this. And I have plenty of room to add more batteries, so I can always upgrade this battery pack. So let's go for a ride, okay? So here's the game plan. Do you remember that video I made about me taking my bike for a spin? Well, I'm going to be taking that same exact path. It's exactly 1.5 miles long. I'm just going to keep looping, uh, looping around, and every time I get back home, I'm going to check my battery voltage. Now, I've already do I already did the test last night with me pedaling. I just was pedaling lazily just to help it along. And I didn't really get the battery down 100% empty, but after about 30 miles, or 27 and a half or so miles, I gave up because I'd wasted three hours on it, and it was 1.30 in the morning then. So today I'm going to be trying to do it without pedaling at all. Unfortunately, that will probably be very difficult, maybe even impossible not for, for me not to pedal, since bicycles are, uh, they tend to encourage you to pedal quite well, especially whenever you're you have the incentive of going further. So let's get going. So it's been 1.5 miles and it's down to 48.1 volts. After three miles it's down to 47.4 volts. After four and a half miles, it's down to 47.1 volts. After six mi miles of travel, it's, the battery is now down to 46.8 volts. Not doing too bad. We're at 46.6 volts after seven and a half miles, I believe. I don't know if you can see that. The sun's going down. So now after nine miles, the battery reads at 46.4. After 10.5 miles, the battery is down to 46.1 volts. After 12 miles, the battery is down to 45.9. After 13.5 miles, the battery is only down to 45.7 volts. After 15 miles, the battery is down to 45.5 volts. After 16.5 miles, the battery is down to 45.3. I'm going to start using a little more power and going a little faster because it's already 7.30. I've wasted about two hours on this. 
So I think I can I can afford to spend more power on going fa going more than 12 miles an hour. After 18 miles, the battery voltage is down to 45.1. I just can't seem to use it the battery power. Things last forever. So after about 19 and a half miles, the voltage is at. Uh, sorry, I lost the voltage real quick. 45 volts, exactly, or 44.9 volts. It's going back and forth. Now, I know the battery could handle another 10 miles, but it's starting to cut out. And whenever I pull a load off of it, the voltage drops a lot. So, after this point, it would be required to pedal with it. And not counting, this is where I stopped with my last test last night. So, that kind of works good. So, with pedaling, I get 27 miles. Without pedaling, I get 19 miles. Big difference. Oh, and it, it's not like I was pedaling like mad. I was just pedaling casually, like barely keeping up with it. Well, thanks for watching.